Good. Hi. Say good morning. Good morning. From Hawaii. We're going out on an adventure today. We are. We have booked a private tour across the entire island. We don't know exactly where we're going, so it's going to be an exciting surprise. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We did give them some things that we like requested to do, um, but we'll see like what the tour entails. Yeah. So hopefully they're going to take us to some like secluded like lesser known places. <laughs> we talked to them about like wanting to do some snorkeling. Um, for sure, want to try some local food. There's lots of stuff that we want to do. Yeah. So. So let's do it. Yeah. Let's go see what happens. You ready? Yeah. Aloha. Wow, so pretty. Look at that. What do you think? Jackson, we got our first <laughs> leg. Oh my goodness. No, oh no, you're going to take it off. <laughs> leave it on, bud. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, this is so beautiful. Ooh. It smells so nice. Does it? <laughs> yeah, it really does. There's real flowers, right? I know, it's beautiful. Oh, okay. I'm so happy to get yours. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go, too. Ooh. Aloha. So you have the manlay. So the manlays have the kukui nuts. Oh yeah, yeah. And the ladies have the flowers. I yes. love yeah, it. The have the flowers. Beautiful. 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 Thank you. All right, so here we are. We're headed out. The tour company that we're using today is called High Five Tours. HighFiveHawaii.com. Dormant wow. volcano. The one that's off furthest yeah, to the right. Yeah, furthest to the right. Where the planes just going across. And then okay. you see the buildings. That's all Waikiki. Waikiki. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, our first stop on the tour is Green World Coffee Farm. And we are going to try some coffee. There are coffee beans. See the coffee beans, what they do. And then they squeeze them. Put this one in my pocket. See the juice coming out? Mm hmm. Juice the beans come out. And that's what they do to dry them. And you put one in your mouth. No, really? So it tastes like candy. Really? It's really like candy, yeah. So it's um, nice and sweet. But obviously, they dry the, the beans out. To yeah. Make them out. And, uh, <laughs> We don't recommend that uh, in the kids' mouth. <laughs> and then just swing that, just swing that. Okay. <laughs> just swing that, but that's how the beans are. And it takes eight months to grow. Nothing goes to waste. So the whole bean and the juice, you know, squeeze the juice out as well. Mm. And I make a coffee drink out of it as well. That's oh. fantastic. Ooh. That machine's name is Diedrich. Yeah, they also got us some Leonard's. What are these called? They're mal Mal Malasalas. Yeah. Malasalas, yeah, so here we go. Oh no, buddy! You just spilled it all over yourself. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. Careful, bud. Here, let me. Let, let's leave so, it over here. You think you want to try one? Yeah. Hey guys, future Tim and Jen here. We just want to pop in really quick because we totally forgot to tell you how much we like the Malasadas because Jackson spilled his drink all over himself. Yeah, we got sidetracked because we were trying to clean up his shirt, but we did order some drinks really quick. We'll talk about the drinks first. Okay. So Jackson got a steamed milk with hazelnut um, flavoring, which was delicious. We both tried it. It was really nice. And he, yeah. he loved it. Um, I ordered a macadamia nut mocha coffee. Wonderful, loved it. I got a peppermint mocha. It was delicious. It was very slight on the peppermint though. Ah. Okay. So if you're a fan of a lot of peppermint, maybe don't order that one. Or just ask for a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. But the malasadas were so good. Yeah, it was very I, nice. We didn't even show them to you. If you follow me on Instagram, I did show them on Instagram, but they were so, so fluffy and doughy and wonderful and pillowy. And apparently they've been making these at Leonard's Bakery since 1953, so they've really perfected it. And it's also the original Malasada Bakery on the island. Oh, okay. So, um, Yeah, they so were delicious. I've been dreaming about them. I definitely recommend going to Leonard's Bakery and trying them. I, the next time that we go to Oahu, we'll totally be going to the bakery and getting more. Spoiler alert, we couldn't finish all of them, so we had some for breakfast the next day. Yeah. <laughs> So this tree is called the koa, and they said that this is a native plant to Hawaii, and it's special because unless you're Hawaiian, you can't do anything to it. You can't chop it down, you can't use it for anything unless it falls down. So that's what we were talking about with the ukulele. There is a specific tree that they made it out of that they had to wait till the tree fell down before they could make the ukulele out of it. And then we're in a coffee garden right now, so these are coffee plants. There is another, like, another farm with coffee plants on it. This one's just for show. But yeah, so we're drinking some coffee and eating some melisadas out on the coffee farm. All right, this is the inside of the gift shop. I like all of the different coffee, like bags and posters and stuff that they have over here. And we got some shirts and some whole bean coffee. The dough plantation, folks. 
I didn't want to get in the camera shot. <laughs> oh, it says it says train wait is up to an hour. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, wow. All right, here we are at the Dole Plantation. They told us there's nobody in line for the train, so that's where we're going to head first. All right, we can see pineapple right here. Just started raining, so we just hopped underneath the cover real quick. And look at that, a little pineapple right there. A couple of little pineapples. There it is, that's the train we're going to get on. The Ohana Express. I thought it was called the Pineapple Express. I bet you they changed it after that movie. All right, we're going to get on the train. This is exciting. This is Kevin, he's our tour guide. Jackson, are we on a train? Yeah. yeah. Too You're big. too big? There we go, we are off. On a train ride. Aloha, and welcome aboard the Pineapple Express train tour. This two mile, 22 minute train ride will take you through a working a plantation of pineapple and other crops, in different mini gardens, and get an up close view of a variety of plants, flowers, and native species while listening to stories about the little history on this special place of Oahu called Wahiwa. Before the Hawaiian Islands were united by King Kamehameha I, Wahiwa was where Oahu chiefs and their armies lived. Pineapple off behind the vermilion. They said that each crown is planted by hand. Yeah. 10,000 pineapples a day and experience farmer can plant. They said that the Hawaiian word for pineapple, which I, I couldn't pronounce, translates to foreign fruit because they believe that the first pineapples came from Paraguay. Most of the pineapple in Hawaii is grown at elevations below 3,000 feet. The trees have branches and trunk. Chocolate is made from the beans that are inside the pods. Yum. I like how they put other the plants in front of it so you can't really see it. <laughs> oh yeah, there's some pods right there. A variety of other trees yeah. border the cacao field, which yeah. helps to shield yeah. the cacao trees from excessive oh. wind and sun. Oh, okay. So now it makes sense. Oh, okay. The trees the help yeah. shield them. Ooh, perfect. We did it. We had. We were just in, in time to get barely any weight. So, this darn tour has been worth it. It's been so nice. So, I don't know if we talked to you about the price at all, but yet, because no. because he's a little too young for some of the other tours, we're gonna have ice cream right now. We ended up opting for a private tour, so it's just the three of us, and they kind of cater it for um, places that we can go with his age range. Mm -hmm. So. Um, this was an $800 tour. It was pretty pricey, but it's an all-day tour. Right. Um, and Kevin is fantastic. And then yeah, Ryan, Ryan is our driver. He's yeah. fantastic as well. So he's a marine biologist. So he's been giving us lots of information about the island and about the wildlife on the island. Right, buddy? And Jackson's yeah. all about, we're getting a Dole Whip right now. He's so excited. But Kevin has been really great because he's um, just kind of a wealth of knowledge as well. And he's, and really he's been good. great with Jackson yeah. too. So Jackson like loves him. <laughs> right, buddy? Yeah. yeah. There got... Look at that. So a Dole Whip and some pineapple juice, pineapple right? Juice. Ooh. All right. Nice. We're gonna do shots of pineapple juice. We're gonna do shots of pineapple juice first. <laughs> so here we go. Mm. Oh my gosh, you want to try it? It's a little Jackson size Ooh. cup. Yep. Let's be very careful. You, let's yeah, take a sip of this first. Try that first. Is that good? Yeah. You like it? Go for mom. Oh, wow, that is so yummy. That mm. tastes so fresh. So the pineapple juice is uh, it's just nestled with pineapple crust. Mm. And, uh, no sugar added. That's I'll, real I'll nice. That I'll do that. I'll do that. Watch some ice cream. I know. All right, Jen. So how does it compare to a Dole Whip from Florida? This is like you can't even compare them. Like this tastes so. Just fresh and like no additives. Yeah. It's just so Kevin was telling us it's just pineapple and um, sweet small banana. So yeah. It's pineapple and banana, but it's like a special sweet banana. There's no sugar added. And that's all it is. Just the two fruits. Yeah. But you, I don't even taste the banana. It really just tastes like pineapple yeah. to me. I this could drink so this pineapple juice all day every day for the rest them. of my life. No, love it. Oh man. These guys are lucky these aren't for sale. I would have bought them. Look at the size of these cute little like pineapple guys playing the ukuleles. You can get smaller versions of them. They're adorable. They're dyed with Yeah, pineapple? these are like, they're like tie dyed. I don't know if you would call it. Does it say they're, oh, they're just dyed. I thought it said tie dyed. They're just yeah. dyed with pineapple. Dyed wow. in pineapple. That's fun.
Oh, this one right here? Yeah, yeah. $38 million dollar house. Wow. Beautiful, though. And at first, it's only really one floor. I mean, there is a bit of a bottom floor towards the end. Yeah. That's like a kitchen and like a, a lounge. Okay. You only have the bedrooms on the top floors. Everything else underneath is like parking. Just passing Waimea Bay. There you go. So we stopped off at a place called Kahuku Farms. And basically Kahuku means the point. So we're at the point, the northernmost point of the island. And there's just like a bunch of different farms out here. Lots of agriculture. These are called ice cream bananas. I think that these are the ones that you see online that everybody like always overexposes to make them look super blue. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna get some fresh fruit. All right, so I got an ice cream banana. So this uh, is the banana that they use to make the Dole Whip with. That's really creamy and really sweet. I love how it just looks so little. Yeah, it tastes like a banana, but it's <laughs> like a creamier version of a banana. It's not as like grainy yeah, as yeah. a normal banana. That's good. Let me try a little bite. Yeah. Oh, it almost tastes like grapes. Grapes? Yeah, like the aftertaste is like grapes or apple. Mm. Now I'm tasting apple. It is like a very, like a mushy, not mushy in a bad way, but just, yeah, like, Creamy, creamy. Yeah, mm. I think they call it bready. Bready, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Mm, yeah, it feels nice in your mouth. Yeah. Good texture. And it doesn't stick like normal bananas. You kind of get like a uh, weird after texture in your mouth. Mm -hmm. mm. That's good. So this one is an apple banana. A little bit bigger. Tastes like an apple. Does it? Tastes like apple pie. Oh, I want to try it. That's really weird. This one's not, this one has more of that same texture as before. Tastes like the inside of an apple pie. That's nice. It's very sweet. Oh. Mmm. It's good get though, these, right? Can we get these back home? Maybe. Mm. I bet you there's a company online that's just like bananas.com or something. <laughs> I do like this a lot. <laughs> it's good. Oh, and you're having mango with tahini? Mmm. Mmm. You can get this back home, but this is just, it just looked nice. I was yeah. like, I want that. Really good. This particular one, this is taro or kalo. That's what poi is made out of. Mm. It's a staple food in Hawaii. It's one of the few plants. So this is like a little garden. You want to just grab a flower from the sea. And then at the wedding, you bring them together and bloop. Oh, amazing. You got a whole flower. Mm. So there's a story about two lovers that were split apart mm -hmm. during their wedding. Um, and eventually they were brought back together in the afterlife. So that's where that, that kind of story. Mm. That's amazing. Yeah. Now Ryan's married to himself. All right, I got some lumpia. It's like a fried banana. This is delicious. Mm. Oh man. When you get to the actual banana parts, really good. Wow, that's delicious. We should also mention the reason that he wasn't out there is because he's asleep. Now we are at Pipeline actually on the North Shore. We're gonna walk down. We're not gonna do any like surfing or anything. We're just gonna have a look because the waves are pretty big today. 15 foot. I hope we get to see a big one. I'm sure we will. Yeah. I checked it out. It's 18 yeah. million. 18 million dollars for this house right here. And I guess Kelly Slater lives on the beach side of this property so just like the other side of it. So it looks like we are in between sets right now. A little bit calm. Some people surfing down there. Pretty big waves at the end of the end of the walk there. Yeah. So there is a surf competition happening right now. Dangerous shore break. Let's see what he does. He's done. He's like, I'm just going to go in. There's just a guy out there that's filming. How'd you like to be that guy? You see him here? He's just out there with a camera. Oh, right here. Let's see what he does. Ooh. Oh. Closed out on him. These waves are big coming in. Dang. There we go. Yeah. Oh my. Wow. Let's see if somebody turns on this one. Nope. 
You can see the, the water just turns white out here. Oh my goodness. Right towards the end, Jackson woke up. And it's so funny because this is this is my luck. Jen always says that I'm lucky, what? but this is my luck. We're out there on the beach. It's raining. It's like pouring on us, right? It wasn't I know pouring. it was raining enough that we're wet, right? Yeah. And I know that the the camera can get a little bit wet, but I don't want to get it soaked. Mm -hmm. Look at all that chicken. Wow. Um, but I don't want to get it soaked, and I'm just like, okay, I think we need to, I think we need to start heading up because the camera's getting a little bit too wet. And then as soon as we make it off the beach, rain stops <laughs> right away. We got to see a lot of really cool stuff though while yeah. we were down there. That was awesome. And like, I think this is the thing. Yesterday, I was supposed to come up here and go surfing. Oh, eh, oh, a little yeah. bit too big of waves for me. <laughs> That's probably why they canceled it. They're like, right? this guy. They're like, oh. He's a liability. There's, they're like, they have a name for people like me in Hawaii. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but they do have a name for me. They're different to these two. You may have seen some videos where surfers will dig out a river and then surf in a standing wave. Oh, yeah. River. This is the river. So oh, forward, okay. And yeah. They'll dig it out. When it's really backed up, they'll take a small channel and then you can just surf for an hour in this continuous wave. That's interesting. This is Waimea Bay? Waimea yeah, Bay, yeah. Heading into Waimea Valley. Wow, this is intense. George of the Jungle was filmed right here. Oh. You guys ever saw that? Brandon Jumanji. Frazier. Yep. This is where he was swinging on his fast vine and his face is blowing back in the wind. <laughs> You'll see them just swing a cable through here. Oh, wow. I don't trust birds. No, he really doesn't. Food Jackson, you see this peacock? Is that a little bird or a big bird? Oh, it's a big bird. bird. Wow, he's beautiful. They have a whole bunch of movie posters for movies that have been filmed in the area. The other day we ate at the Monkey Pod restaurant and these trees right here are Monkey Pod trees. The Hawaiian royal family. So what, what are the name of the falls that we're headed up to? Waimea Falls? Waimea Falls. All right. It's very beautiful in here. This is a fishing shrine. That's right, buddy. They are fish. The incredible climbing fish. Yeah, buddy, here is a picture of these rocks right here. You see? Jackson's making his way up the mountain. There was a lot of rain recently, so it's a little bit cloudy in the water. So Kevin, who is our tour guide, says that they were just filming Aquaman 2 down here. So this area is closed off. They had actors and all kinds of lights and cameras and everything down there. I bet you the water looked a little bit better than it does right now because it's a little murky from the rain. I don't know if you guys can see the rain through the trees. It's really cool looking, right? big banyan tree right here too but we're undercover so right now I'm not feeling any rain felt it for a half a second almost to the waterfall what was it? nearly there we can see the water's picking up speed this is when it gets we've had six or seven days of rain and nobody gets in the water uh -huh, okay. and uh, they let people come up and uh, just get the photos and this is what it's like as we're coming into summer and this is what summer is like no water uh -huh. and people get upset because there's no waterfall yeah but they don't realize waterfall is a waterfall it's a waterfall for a reason yeah so right water's <laughs> so got to come go. from somewhere there you go and then as you can see on the map here you see on the uh, west side of the islands a lot drier yeah the rain comes in from the east. Yeah. So they've got this fence here to protect from falling boulders. And this is an example of one of the rocks that fell. Wow. That's a big boy. All right, here we are. We're at the Waimea Falls. Jackson, will you wave at Kevin? Is it too cold for you? <laughs> but it's nice and warm out there. What do you think, buddy? You want to get close to the waterfall? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's do it. 
Ну, на половину фару. Did you find the stick? Wow. You got a stick, bud. Okay, Jen, you okay? Okay, you need to go walk over on the rock. What do you think, bud? You want to go see that waterfall up close? Yeah. Okay. What do you think, buddy? Well, that's a waterfall. Waterfall! Yeah. Wow. We did it. We did it. Should we go and look? Oh, there goes mommy. Let's see. There's mommy. All right, buddy, we're right next to a huge waterfall. What do you think? <laughs> we're in the waterfall. We did it. Ready? Big smile. Big smile. <laughs> it's so wild how you just kind of float away from it. What did you think? I really liked it. I was nervous it was going to be too cold. But it, it really isn't that bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. I think oh, that, that, that was place? me. Yeah, oh. sorry. <laughs> you think that I'm going to have an animal that's going to come up here? That was amazing, though. Did that you was... like it, buddy? Was that so beautiful? Did you like seeing the waterfall? Are you missing your stick? I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, I left I... it back at the waterfall. Give me a big <laughs> cheese, buddy. I'll find it. You found the rock? Oh, that's your stick. Here you go. You found the stick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's a little stick. Oh, wow. What do you think? Very impressive. Beautiful waterfall. It's Wyoming waterfall. So, so this is the clip after we went in the water. We are now out and we are all wet. But this is, it is so beautiful here. So on the way up, we hiked up. I, guess, I don't know if you were Kyle hiking. We walked up, but we opted to pay the $10 per person to ride the golf cart back down. Worth every penny. Worth every penny. <laughs> By the way, I do love a good play on words, so Hawaii Fi is amazing. 3.5, 3.5. Today? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, there's lots of art galleries, uh, surf shops, coffee shops, uh, Masamoto, Shy Vice, and lots of food trucks. Little boutiques yes. everywhere. Oh, wow. All right, we're in Haleiwa. A little surf town North Shore. on the North Shore, and we're going to some food trucks. Spicy shrimp, you're yeah, that's the spicy shrimp. This is number eight. Okay. Yeah. What's mommy gonna get? The spicy shrimp? Oh yeah, there's so much. Oh, they got some pho. <laughs> I see lots of things. That Summer look very roll, good. spring rolls. Wow. Ooh, spicy garlic pepper chicken. That sounds so good. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm gonna get? What? A burger. Some Korean barbecue over here. You get some pineapple. Pineapple shrimp? Oh no, it looks like we're out of chicken and fish cutlets. Uh -oh. Some like butter shrimp. So yeah, it does. Ooh, yeah, look. And some burritos. That sounds good too. But I, you know me, I gotta get a burger right over here. Ooh, yeah. What am I gonna get? What am I gonna get? Oh my goodness gracious. A wimpy burger, that's fun. I can get a little a little sausage. Oh, big wave shrimp featured on diners, drive-ins, and dives. Guy Fieri. So Buddy got some garlic shrimp. I also got Jackson a, a quesadilla just in case. Some French fries. I got my burger here. I gotta unwrap it for you. He's oh, eating, you eating see? rice by hand. Yeah, I gotta I gotta take the skins like the shells off of the shrimp. I got the pad thai. Well, the medium spice. It smells really good. It smells nice. What are these? These are spring rolls? These are spring rolls. And you got also summer rolls? Uh-huh. Nice. Mm. I got what they call the king burger. 
Look at this bad boy. That's huge. Well, hey, it's us again from the future. <laughs> uh, we forgot to mention how much we enjoyed our food from the food truck area. Yeah, so I really enjoyed, I got shrimp, Jackson got shrimp. It was so super fresh and really flavorful and just delicious. And we ordered so much food from the Thai food truck. We literally had food for three days. Right. Um, it was fantastic though. It was so good. So I got a burger and my burger was good. It had a lot of really good flavors, but probably the greasiest burger I've ever had in my life. Well, I will also say that um, the guys that we were with said the the Mexican kitchen, the I think it was called Surf Salsa. Mm -hmm. um, they said that that place was really nice too. And we did get Jackson a quesadilla from there. That was delicious. Yeah. But it was just a you know quesadilla. But all the food was really honestly like everything that I had and Jack I tried Jackson's food too. So good. If you like shrimp, go to that truck. Yeah. So. Back to you, past Tim and Jen. All right, seems that the day has come to an end. We're driving back to the resort. Look at that video of us finding a waterfall, how beautiful. Can you say thank you to Kevin? He took all these videos of pictures of you. Yeah, he did. Look at this valley. Yeah. Right here, look. He did, he did do that. Can you say thank you? Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. What an amazing day. Like shout out to H i5 tours they did a fantastic job they were excellent like they took us to every place that we wanted to go got to see a whole bunch of stuff got to try some new experiences jackson got to ride a train jen got to swim up to a waterfall it was fantastic it was a really really good day i can't wait like i feel like we are probably eventually going to come back to hawaii and we're going to use them again and we're going to book them and try to go to a place that we hadn't been on this tour I can't recommend them enough. It was so fantastic. Kevin was great. He helped out with Jackson and Jackson was like running around. He would help out and like kind of corral Jackson. And then Ryan was great too. He was a wealth of knowledge. Both of them were a wealth of knowledge. But like Ryan was a marine biologist. So he like knew a lot of sciencey stuff. And I loved that. It was fantastic. I felt like we really got the true Hawaiian experience today. So all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we're off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.